The STEP Centre was started over 25 years ago by two women who needed an educational facility for their sons who were both differently able. At that time, there was very little inclusion in regular schools for kids who had disabilities or who had developmental challenges. And so STEP began with about three kids and gradually increased his size. I think our maximum has been at any one time close to 30. I am Andrea Cameron and I've been a practicing therapist since 1985. My favorite population to work with are the children. Today we're at the STEP Center. It's a school for therapy, education and parenting of children with multiple disabilities. As part of our outreach to parents and because of the need to keep producing material that parents can use while their kids are isolating at home, we've decided to create a series of educational videos. Today we're going to be looking at stretching and well I prefer to say lengthening, helping these kids to lengthen their muscles because of their limited mobility, their muscles don't always go through their full ranges of motion. This is very important in helping to maintain the flexibility of the body and in preventing contractures, which is shortening of the tendons and the muscles. And if you have shortening, then you have deformities. So what we want to do is keep their bodies mobile and supple in the best way we can. And like anything else, there are proper ways to stretch, there are proper ways to position. And I want to remind you that every interaction with your child should be an opportunity for something therapeutic to happen. And this spans, this will span all, all aspects of their development, their cognitive, their motor, their sensory motor, their fine motor. So every time you handle your child and you get into a one-on-one -on -one interaction, it is important that this interaction be therapeutic. Today I'm working at King's Home and I'm, we're going to do some stretching and we are going to, in, we might incorporate the assistance of his nanny or shadow or caregiver while we are demonstrating the activities. Before I start stretching King, I've positioned him in a seating position and I'm using the boppy and a roll just to bring him up but also give his back a little angle of inclination. This should be a very comfortable position for him but it will also challenge his abdominal muscles a little bit. Okay. So what do we do? We're going to start with the arms and we're going to start at the shoulders. Now the first thing you do is you try and get the kid accustomed to your touch. So gentle stroking, gentle contact, just holding the limb, maybe gently shaking the limb will help in the process of getting him to relax. Upward motion from the, from the top of the foot along the side of the foot. And we're helping him to relax. Right? And we're taking the foot and we just gently moving it. Right? Okay. And he's turning to you because he wants you to pick him up. So, I know I started saying I'm going to start with the shoulder, but 
I think King, King's body is telling me differently. So I'm gonna start with some. I'm gonna start with the spine, and I'm gonna be doing some rotation from side to side. And each time we finish the rotation, we come back to the center. So we're turning him from one side to the other side. Thank <laughs> you. 
intercostal muscles gradually giving them good, a slow stretch and if you notice the position of the legs different plan in mind when I started 
but I just you just have to go with their body. If there's a lot of resistance, you don't fight that resistance. You just put down the limb or focus on a different joint. So lengthening and stretching have to be done slowly and carefully. And there's in a kid liking, in a young child, there's no justification to taking them into, kid, into pain. Kids who have spasticity, which we'll discuss in, in, in other videos, will sometimes they have to um, endure discomfort. But that discomfort should never go into the realm of excruciating. It should be mild to moderate. And if that is necessary, you have to, they must only experience that moderate discomfort for a very short amount of time. But um, a child at, at King's level, there is no benefit to causing him pain. Thank you for viewing. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And please share these videos with anybody who you think might benefit.